all right yes fine a uh, very special good evening to one and all uh, meeting you after some gap of 3 to 4 days now or maybe even more than that fine hoping the examinations wherever it's going on across colleges it's fine and uh, here we go continuing the boot camp ahead all right Mm, a very quick recap of what we have learned in the last class. We learned the concept of file handling. Uh, one thought in our mind that we would repeat file handling one more time since due to examination most of you could not attend live with us online. Okay, that's one thing. Anyways, introducing you the topic for the boot camp today ahead in Python that is object oriented. programming using python now object oriented programming is first of all is a very vast topic secondly it is object oriented programming that gives programming language a specific or let me say a discrete dimension or and a direction also that's not in my opinion one actually start learning programming language when he or she understands oop or the concept of object oriented program this is the entry point into any programming language the concept of oop or object oriented program otherwise whatever we have learned up till now so far right from day one those were the basics for logic building and foundations programming language actually start from this milestone oop all right fine now as i told you object oriented programming is a vast topic so i have divided this topic into two to three parts today is a part one a very thorough practice of yours along with mine is must just listening to the series lectures won't help you master it or a very rigorous continuous and a dedicated practice is required for object oriented programming but once you will learn it you will love it all right fine so here we go okay anyways right number 1 people object oriented programming back to back i am going to speak 8 to 10 points you have to note them either in your mind and it would be good that if you're writing them and noting in your books so that you never forget throughout your career all right my simple piece of advice to you this topic object oriented programming we are learning never to forget throughout the it career that is hum kabhi na bhulne ke liye ye seekh rahe hain us tarah fine number 1 object oriented programming is a modern day approach of coding this is modern day approach like most of the developers who are working outside the industries it is their practice object oriented approach. not all programming are oop supported for example c that's not object oriented we call it as a structured oriented programming language what is the difference we'll shortly talk about that okay so that's uh, a modern day programming approach number 2 number is very important i try to understand now what is object oriented programming want to say that don't start coding a program in a very simple way or as it is at like the way we have uh, written a program to cal find the factorial of a number to find out a number is prime or not to reverse a number and find out it is palindrome or not and when given a program don't bounce upon it don't uh, start coding it as it is in a very simple way always code your program in an object oriented way where you have to create object and code the logic according to object oriented programming you have to first code an object and then frame the logic what is this object all right my next point please this is very important object oriented programming or the concept of oop says that before anything is programmed it has to be designed first i repeat one more time before anything is programmed it has to be 
designed first. This is the first important word I use so far. Design. Noted piece. Noted down. Alright. Now, going into a little depth of this point. You know, even in, in our daily world or common life, before we build any product, it is designed first. Like if I, before the company might have manufactured this mobile phone, of course, his employees might have never started working upon the piece and part, building them, welding them, screwing it. This product might have been designed first, correct? Either using a sketch or a book or a pen or AutoCAD kind of design software. Thousands of such designs might have been rejected, but the one which was approved was converted into end product, correct? Right? Similarly, similarly, you know, like... Uh, the laptop that I'm using or any product that you see around okay I have a refrigerator next to me I have a AC above me so all these product before the companies might have built it companies might have designed it am I right banne se pehla product design kiya jata hai even the chair upon which I'm sitting or you are sitting correct right if there is a plot for example next to us here one day a builder comes and he plans say I want to construct a building here. No, but before I start laying brick upon brick to construct the floors and put the slab, I'll get an architect to design the floor plan or submit the design first, correct? That is exactly what object-oriented programming speaks. Don't start coding directly or as it is. First, please build the design model and then convert this design into a product understood and ethically speaking this is a right way of working am i right so you have to manufacture a pen there would be 100 thoughts in your mind what if the pen is this in shape the top would be that the bottom would be this it should be circular or it should be rectangular or how the grip i should provide to hold I mean, how should I provide grip to hold? Should I provide a grip little conical in shape or little pointed in shape or if it is circular that would be a comfortable. Okay, so all these designs which you are inside your mind, maybe you will try to draw it first. And the one which you find beautiful or maybe looking good or maybe feeling good or maybe working good, you will eventually end up converting it into a product. Okay, so design the product first and then build it. That is what is the concept of object oriented program. Alright. Fine. Now one benefit of designing is what you know. Let me see how many of you are understanding. Good. 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 I could see. Yeah. Please uh, uh, keep writing in the chat boxes. Okay. People are going to come one by one. One benefit of designing a product is. You don't have to waste time behind the design. Behind every product. For example. For example. Let's see. I have this bottle next to me. Alright, so this is a bottle. Now, the company who manufactures this bottle might have put in effort to design the bottle only once. Is it right? Maybe tons of other bottles they might have manufactured after this. But designing to a kibar hota hai. Maybe after design was approved, we made a mold of it. Hmm? What in the mold? M O U L D mold. See, I'm putting here in the chat box. Hmm? I've put it here in the chat box under the comment section. What exactly do you mean by the mold? Mold is nothing but one perfect shape. You know, in Hindi, we even call it as a sancha or a die. Am I right? You call it as a sancha or you call it as a die. This one example I have given to many of my students whom I have met for object oriented programming. Some of you who are here might be able to recollect as well. Like if you go into your kitchen, if you should see how your mother or anyone who cooks food makes karanji kind of stuff. Understood? They have a perfect mold to shape it. Right? Now why do they use mold? So that you don't waste time behind design for each and every roti or karanji or moda, whatever it is. For it would be simply a copy of the design. Okay? So this is what is a concept of object oriented programming. Design the logic first and then build its object sorry its product final product 
All right. So object oriented programming talks about two terms here I have presented on the presentation. One called as classes, another called as objects. All right. Now always remember design in object oriented programming is called as a class. I repeat one more time. The design is called as a class which is a one time effort. Class is built only one time. Understood? And the copies of this design, like for example, the mold, वो die जो होता है वो हमने एक ही बार बनाया होगा, उस die का shape लेकर बनने वाली bottle फिर हजारों होगी, correct or not? Right? उस mold का, उस die का, उस सांचे का shape लेकर बनने वाली bottle तो हजारों है, but वो die हमने एक ही बार बनाया है, correct? Fine. So class is called as a design. And the copies of these designs which is made that is called as an object. This is object in object oriented programming. Remember. Okay, so design is always called as a class or class is always called as a master design. That's a master plan. Remember my word. Okay, class is like a design or class is like that master plan. And using that master plan, the products which you will build the copies which will be generated, the copies which will be duplicated, those are called as an object. In some other terms or some authors also have the habit of writing objects as instance. That is also right. You call them object, you call them instance. That's one and the same. Right? So object-oriented pro programming basically talks about class and its object. It's like design, class is like a master plan, and object is like a real product which has been derived from this design. Somebody please acknowledge in the chat box. See if you can understand these two terms, Age ka kaam bahut easy hai. I would be grateful if you could write in the chat box. That helps me to understand how you are getting it or not. I think there is a big delay. There is quite a lagging happening. Yeah. Okay, let me still wait. Let me still wait for a moment. Ma'am, can you repeat it? Okay, exactly, Path, can you tell me what concept? Because I spoke a lot of things and there is uh, some video lagging also happening. Exactly which part or you want me to start from beginning in short what is object oriented programming? Is it like that? I can do it. Let me know. Class and object. Okay, fine, fine. Fine. Let's start with classes and objects. One more time, please. Okay, one more time. Let me start with classes and objects. Here we go. Okay, come on. Let's go a little slow. Okay, friends, you have to understand class and object. To be very frank, understand. I don't want to keep you in a false dilemma. To be very frank, if you don't understand object-oriented programming, आगे का पाइथन आएगा ही. It's okay. It's not a uh, big rocket science that it's so tough. It's very easy. Come on, try one more time. If you still don't understand, I'll repeat third time. I'm ready to repeat ten times, but provided before seven p.m. today, you are able to understand class and an object, right? चलिए शुरू से शुरू करते एक बार short. What is the concept of object-oriented programming? Never start building a product directly. Understood? आपको कंपनी ने एक प्रोडक्ट बनाने दिया है तो डायरेक्टली आप प्रोडक्ट बनाने पर टूट मत पड़ो आप उस पर टूट पड़िए नहीं यू फर्स्ट डिजाइन द प्रोडक्ट इन लिटिल प्रॉपर्ट वर्ड और टर्म डिजाइन आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज अ प्रोटोटाइप अंडरस्टूड प्रोटोटाइप यू फर्स्ट डिजाइन द प्रोडक्ट ओनली इफ द डिजाइन हैज बीन सक्सेसफुली अप्रूव इट विल बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू अ रियल प्रोडक्ट Understood, right? Any example, if you take around you, of around the ob objects which are around you. If any any example, if you take say next to me, there is a chair. 
understood here on the left side i have a refrigerator hmm? above me maybe i have an ac in front of me i have a television box i am working on a laptop so all these products the companies might have never started building them by fixing parts laptop banane ke liye dell ne ya hp ne directly parts cut karke usko welding ya usko screw up karna start nahi kiya hoga am i right how will a company take a project tell me how will company start working on a project they will first design the model correct same similar kind of example that i gave you say i want to build a building फोर स्टोरी बिल्डिंग और फोर्टी स्टोरी बिल्डिंग और फोर हंड्रेड स्टोरी बिल्डिंग सौ माले का भी अगर बिल्डिंग बनाना है दो माले का बिल्डिंग बनाना सो वी विल फर्स्ट सबमिट द डिजाइन ऑफ दैट फ्लोर प्लान हाउ विल द लेडर्स गो फ्रॉम वेर विल आई टेक एन एलिवेटर हाउ विल बी द पैसेज एरिया एंड ऑल करेक्ट सो द प्रोडक्ट हैज टू बी और अ मॉडल हैज टू बी डिजाइन फर्स्ट So out of 10 designs, 20 designs, 30 designs that I draw or I submit, the one which was the most appropriate has been approved. Is it right? This is how we actually start working in the practical world. Correct, Pat. And others of my friends who are also understanding, please acknowledge till here it is clear. Practical world me actually to ham aise hi kam karte hain. Correct. एक मामूली सी पेन भी अगर मैन्युफैक्चर करना है तो हम उसका मॉडल पहला डिजाइन करेंगे मे बी यूजिंग अ स्केच और मे बी यूजिंग अ पेन और अ पेपर इट मेक्स सेंस गाइस। इवन कोई स्कूल के बच्चों को भी हम पूछ ले तो वो भी यही बोलेगा नहीं मैं भाई मैं डायरेक्ट काम कैसे शुरू करूँ मे बी आई विल मेक अ डिजाइन फर्स्ट फाइव सो दिस डिजाइन विल बी देन कन्वर्टेड इन टू अ प्रोडक्ट दैट्स वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू से सो इन ऑब्जेक्ट ओरियंटेड प्रोग्रामिंग वॉट हैपन्स This design is called as a class. I'll tell you how to code it. Coding कैसे होता है वो सब आगे की बात है पहला कॉन्सेप्ट समझ लीजिए सो डिजाइन इज कॉल्ड एज अ क्लास कम लेट मी राइट इट इफ यूर कंफ्यूज दिस डिजाइन इज कॉल्ड एज अ क्लास एंड यूजिंग दिस मास्टर डिजाइन और मास्टर प्लान डिजाइन इज लाइक अ मास्टर प्लान ओके डिजाइन इज वॉट इट्स लाइक अ मास्टर प्लान ओके नाउ यूजिंग दिस डिजाइन the objects which will be manufactured or the product which copies which will be generated that is called as an object all right that's called as an object hmm? another advantage of designing a product what what did i tell you the design ke piche humko effort ek hi bar lena padta hai come on you approve this point all my friends who are present here approve this point is right or not we all can think forget about the coding forget about technology is this correct or not so this example i gave you of the bottle the company who manufactures this bottle might have spent time behind designing it only once is it right after designing we created its mold correct jaise ki ek bottle banaya but agar aisi 1000 bottle manufacture karna hai to har bottle ko hum shape thodi dete baithenge for perfection correct for perfection we won't keep sitting and giving shape and design to each and every bottle so we will create its mold mold is like die or it's like a sancha understood now based on this mold we will start creating other bottles so it's that that mold is like a class wo sancha wo design jo die hoti hai it's like a class and the different copies which will be generated taking shape of that mold will be called as an object the different copies that we will create who will by taking the shape of that mold that will be called as its object us mold ke object ya us design ke objects right recall that example which i gave you of that uh, karanji wala it's so very common thing but it's very easy for the beginners that's the reason i love giving it Understood that some kind of puri or some kind of karanji that your parents make or your, anyone who works in the kitchen who make. Understood? Maybe I don't want to spend time in shaping each of that puri or each of that karanji precisely. That's the reason I have taken that mold. Am I right? So that every puri which I make will take the shape of the mold. So that mold is like a class in coding, and the different puris or different karanjis which I am making out of that mold. is like its object hmm? 
please acknowledge not only part even the others who are here with us please acknowledge it it's helpful for me i come to know whether you are understanding or not classes or object nahi samjha to aage nahi badh sakte one more time acknowledge whether the concept of class ma'am what all object be the same ma'am won't all object be same if mold is same yes part objects will be same if the mold is same you are 200 percent correct uh your point will be more clear in my next statement okay in my next statement this point will be more correct in fact uh, we will take two lectures of time at least to understand or to answer this question how will the objects be different if the mold is same understood fine so keep this question unanswered for a few minutes you automatically will be in a state to understand and answer it okay interesting the thing which you are asking interesting aap ye question pooch rahe iska matlab aap samajh rahe good let's go ahead things will be automatically opening up okay chali after understanding class and after understanding its object try to understand the next topic people classes are made up of now when i say classes means we are using design okay design we are never going to use this word design it's non technical term the technical term in python is class remember that again and again i am writing design only for your understanding clear classes in object oriented programming always have two things properties and methods methods are also called as functions methods are also called as functions for example for example any object that i look around i am not sitting here with the object so okay in a 3d world or the world around you any object whose example you can take let's take an example of this bottle again it will have some properties it will have some function let me let me name the properties of this bottle first so it is made up of plastic it's made up of plastic uh its top is yellow in color or maybe its bottom to hold a grip is circular in shape right so these characteristics are called as properties of an object note it down please note it down properties means characteristics properties always answer the question how object look like what will it have अंडरस्टूड दिखता कैसा है वो या उसके पास क्या है या क्या होगा ऑफकोर्स एवरीथिंग दैट यू लुक अराउंड विल हैव सम प्रॉपर्टीज राइट सो आई हैव कर्टन यूर नेक्स्ट टू मी देर इज अ विंडो एंड देर इज अ कर्टन मे बी दिस कर्टन इज मेड अप ऑफ सम सिल्क इट्स गोल्डन इन कलर इट्स फाइव मीटर इन लेंथ फाइव मीटर इन लेंथ सो वॉट 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 आर वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू से दीज आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द कर्टन विच डिफाइन्स हाउ डज इट look right so this is always in property acknowledge please is that clear are you understanding properties hamesha ye batayengi wo dikhta kaisa hai characteristic if you can say yes or no i'll go ahead okay thank you then what do you mean by function Understood. Come on. This bottle is made up of plastic. Its top is yellow in color. This is how it opens. This is how it closes. Something like that. All right. Then uh, what do you mean by function? What is this bottle used for? Maybe it is used to carry water, or maybe it is used to store some liquid. Is it right? Or maybe it is used to drink water or drink some other kind of drink. So that is the function. Am I right? Say I have a pen in my hand. For example, the pen writes blue in color, so that is a property. But what is this object pen used for? Kis kam mein aati hai? Wo uska function ho gaya. So the pen is used for writing. Writing is a function. Yes, volume of a bottle. Perfect part. But then volume of the bottle is what property or it's a function? Part. You only answer. Others would also be interested to know who are here with us. volume of the bottle will be the property of the bottle or will be its function
it will be the property perfect is it right fine so uses will be called as a function and characteristics are called as a property fine now part is your question clear will objects be same if they are made of the same mold objects will be same but they will be different in properties understood they will be different in properties for example for example i want to make a game which is like a ping pong game it's a very old game after the class today try to uh, google about it how that ping pong game is been played it's like you know uh, like a table tennis game there are two paddles aise do rectangle ki tarah paddle hote hain left or right side mein upar niche ghumta rehta hai and you have to prevent ball crossing the boundary is it right fine so length of the paddle width of the paddle these are the properties and for both the paddle to look same the width and height will also be same am i right but but the direction is different one is at the left side one is on the right side so the two properties that is the direction is different are you understanding so there would be something different between the properties right every animal speak every animal walk but how does cat speak maybe that would that sound would be different how does dog speak maybe dog barks maybe uh, lion roars is it right something like that so these are the characteristic how the objects differ in themselves are you understanding hmm? some what the concept is clear so every class will have some property every class will have some method right let's start uh, coding our first object oriented program using python yes okay. fine so here we go and once again back on my jupyter notebook keyword class keyword class to create a class all right keyword class is to create a class say i create a class by the name animal okay mind you a is capital here and python is case sensitive uh, there is no rule that first letter of the class should be in capital letter there is no such uh, hard and fast rule but it is uh, easier to understand and to read if you name like that code indicating the class started i am coding a very simple class first class is a design remember that class is a design remember that so class animal right uh considering every animal has some height and every animal has some weight so height and weight are the properties of animal okay height is a property of the animal and weight is also the property of animal so when you sit to code a class jab aap design banane baithte ho coding programming mein to design mein properties aur functions hi hote hain okay theek hai let me assign some value to height say height is equals to 10 and weight is equals to say 75 kg i'm not writing unit here considering it is understandable height say for example 10 feet or something like that weight is say 75 kg and this a very simple class you will never find a class like this anywhere else this is just for the beginners all right hundreds of question running in your mind i'll come to them one by one in fact they will be automatically solved let's first complete this code how to create object of the class because only creating class is not going to give you any output this is not going to give you any output unless and until you create its object so class is like jaise aapka wo design master print ban gaya the master plan ban gaya ab uski copy banana hai So let me create an object whose name is a1. Object is created like this is equal to name of the class. Okay, remember here we give opening closing round brackets, but while creating a class, these brackets are never given. Okay, while creating a class in the class name or in the class definition, 
this opening closing round parenthesis are never given okay mostly today by the end of the class or maybe in the next connected object oriented programming lecture i will come back to this point what does this opening closing round bracket mean after the name of the class while creating an object what does it mean till then keep the question unanswered right jinko nahi samjha object banate samay ye round bracket class ke naam ke aage hum kyun dete hain isko hum baad mein dekhenge but this is how we create an object Alright. Now remember one thing, guys. Remember one thing. This is my second important point. Okay. Before this, I told something as a first. I have been second important point. Whenever we create object of any class, whenever any class object, ab jab kabi bhi banate ho, whatever a class has, object will also inherit. Understood. For example, whatever a mother has. her children will also say it belongs to me so this home belongs to my father but i call it as my home so this laptop belongs to my uh, mother or my elder sister but i say this is my laptop or this is our laptop and so the vehicle park outside my home is belong it belongs to my uh, cousin or maybe my brother and i call it as our vehicle is it or maybe my vehicle so whatever belongs to the class jo kuch bhi design ke paas hai us design se banne wale object ke paas bhi automatic inherit hota hai now my question to you is my question to you is in your class animal what is so special uske paas aisa bhi kya hai jo object ke pa, object ko milega understood like for example my father inherits a huge property Understand? And I, I, I am the gen, gen, generation who is going to inherit it. I'm on the way. Is it right? So at least he has something so that we can inherit. Correct. My question is the same now. What does this class animal have that its object will inherit? Correct. Is there anyone height and weight? You are right. Pa. Thank you so much for that. one of our friend has answered us here in the chat box my other viewers please you should be very prompt at it correct height and weight uske paas height hai uske paas weight hai to abhi height aur weight a1 ke paas bhi aa jayega how simply by using dot a1 dot height let me print it say print a1 dot height And print a1 dot wait. All right, run the program till here. That's 10 and 75. Correct. And if you want to be a little more particular, so you can write like this: the height of a1 is correct, and the weight of a1 is. Height of a1 is so and so, and the weight of a1 is so and so. Let's check. Is it right? Fine. Now your question part. Your question. You said, see, this is a mold now, right? The highlighted part of the code. And this is the copy. Who is that copy? A1. Am I now? Even if I create a2, okay. Even if I create a2, say this is another object. Animal. And I print the same thing. Print. If if you don't mind, to save our time, can I copy these two lines? Control C, Control V. Instead of a one dot height, I'll write a two dot height and a two dot weight. Because if a two is an object of animal, weight and height a two will also inherit. Am I right? Fine. So height of a one is or height of a two is. Let me change this part as well. So this is the output. That means you were correct in your way. That means every mold will have or every object created from that mold will have the same properties and same thing. Correct. What if I want to overwrite it? Is it right? For example, a one is cat and a two is a dog. But cat and dog are different in height. A cat and a dog could be different in weight. 
a dog and a dog could be different in weight the two different species of dog could be different in height am i right so let's let's do one thing let's do one thing let's call a1 as cat let's call a2 as dog name of the objects i changed that's it so the height of cat is weight of cat is instead of a1 i will write cat dot height cat dot weight do not be confused i just changed the object name so that it looks good to read in the output otherwise by a1 and a2 what can we think of an animal correct so the height of dog is the weight of dog is dog two or dog dot height and dog weight. Let me first run the code here. Yeah, correct. The height of cat is the height of weight of cat is. Is it right? Now, how can we overwrite this part? So you can write like this: cat dot height is equal to suppose uh, I want to say 0.5 meter. Okay, and the weight of the car uh, weight. Weight of the cat is not even 10, such as 7 kg. Alright. Height of the dog. So let me call it as like this dog dot height is equal to let me call it as 1.5 meter. Or a, a specific species of dog. And the weight of the dog is weight of the dog is so this dog weighs 20 kg. So this is how objects can override the values to its properties. So if I could say run, check it out, check it out. The cat height and weight is 0.57 and the dog's height and weight is 1.5 and 20. Are you understanding? Fine. So what if the third animal is a giraffe? Giraffe is quite long in height, maybe say 10 meters. 10 meter in height. Maybe the weight of the giraffe is uh, 200 kg or probably 300 kg. Example, I'm just telling you. Alright, so you can of course use different values to the property. So this is how the mold will differ. Or let me say the objects created out of mold will differ in their properties. Before I could go ahead, please, is that clear to all of us? The height and weight field will remain constant. So in object we can change the height and weight. Yep, yep, my friend. Yep, height fields will remain constant, but we can of course give dynamic values to them. Hmm? Please, guys, put in little more efforts. Thoda, thoda, mehnat aur kariye. Aap object oriented programming ek bar ye beda par kar diye na, to fir koi bhi programming language is in your reach. Understood? Object oriented understanding ops is very important. Please. It's an addiction. I'm sharing with you my personal view. Object oriented programming, it's an addiction. Once you get addicted to it, you will never love any approach of coding than code. Is that clear? Fine. Right now, what is. Yup, yup. Please give, give me a signal. Can I go ahead from here? Your acknowledgement. Is that fine? Aage bar sakte hain yaase? Or you want me to explain something again? Do you want me to explain you something again? Clear now. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Alright. Now the problem is what you know guys. So suppose if I create one more uh, animal. Say giraffe as I said. So this first of all printing part I have to do it again. Correct? I have to do this printing part again. Number two, I will also have to write this or I also will have to rewrite this part of uh, height and weight again. So there is a lot of code which is getting repeated here. Am I right? Fine. You see this four lines of code, dog dot height, dog dot weight and then print them. Similarly, cat dot height, cat dot weight and then print them. Okay. So there is something common between this objects that each of them are assigning some values to prop properties and they are printing it, correct? How can we get rid of it? So what I do is I put this entire code as a comment. Till here. 
this is called as a multiple line comp yeah? okay this is called as a multi line comp starting from your jpl this entire thing i have put it into comment means we don't have anything now except the class there is only class here with us okay fine okay even in the class these two properties i delete them okay point number 1 now from here the basics of object oriented programming completes and we go to the advance of object oriented programming remember one thing a class always have a constructor i'm writing in a comment here this word understood a class has some feature you can call this one as a feature a class has a feature called as a constructor now we will go ulta you first try to understand how to code a constructor then we will see what is the use of the constructor and and what powerful and a beautiful concept this is right constructor is created using the keyword def that is defined like we created function number 2 keep noting them guys keep keep these points noted number 2 constructors always have this name underscore underscore i use two underscore without space in it underscore underscore and the brackets hmm? two underscore leading two underscore trailing aage piche and in between the word in it in it stands for initialize okay if you are little intelligent enough to understand उसका फुल फॉर्म ही उसका मीनिंग बता जाता है इनिशियलाइज ऑल राइट इनिशियलाइज नाउ दिस इज वेर माई कर्सर इज ब्लिंकिंग दैट मीन्स वी आर इन साइड द पैरामिस इज करेक्ट ऑलवेज रिमेंबर द फर्स्ट आर्ग्यूमेंट टू बी पास टू द कंस्ट्रक्टर इज ऑलवेज सेल्फ दिस इज फिक्स the first argument that we pass to the constructor is always self keep the second question unanswered what does it mean hum usko baad mein dekhenge you want you could have ended the constructor definition here only but for me this constructors have constructor has more two parameter say one is a other is b understood this line which i coded is called as parameterized constructor let me write it here this is a para meterized constructor what do you mean by parameterized constructor a constructor with parameter parameters are nothing but arguments those data or those values which you pass inside the round bracket jo round bracket ke andar hum likhte hain inko hum arguments ya parameter kehte hain all right Fine. So this is a parameterized constructor because in the round bracket we have passed two arguments a and b. Don't count self. Of course there are three arguments. We will call it only two because self is compulsory. We won't call me shall enough. Cool. How many properties this class had? Height and weight, right? Self dot height. Now we cannot write just height. We have to write self dot height is equal to a. And self dot weight is equal to b. Understood? It's damn simple. Now try to understand. Constructor accept two values. One value it will accept in a, other value it will accept in b. Or under any vali value a me it will assign to height. Under any vali value b me it will assign to weight. Now go to that first unanswered question. What did I tell you? How will I create the class? Look up. Let me code it here, please. Let me code it here. Let me code it here. Here we go. Here we go. One moment, please. Come. Okay. Next time, if I want to create an object, say cat is an object of class animal. People, my next IMP point. Now please keep it noted. 
वाइल क्रिएटिंग एन ऑब्जेक्ट क्लास के नाम के बाद जो आप राउंड ब्रैकेट देते हो दिस इज एक्चुअली अ कॉल टू द कंस्ट्रक्टर आई रिपीट वन मोर टाइम वाइल क्रिएटिंग एन ऑब्जेक्ट वाइल क्रिएटिंग एन ऑब्जेक्ट द राउंड ब्रैकेट विद द क्लास ने लेट मी राइट दिस वाइल क्रिएटिंग एन ऑब्जेक्ट राउंड ब्रैकेट्स विद द क्लास ने इज अ कॉल टू इट्स कंस्ट्रक्टर ओके सो वेर डज इट कम वेर डज इट कम इन अवर केस सो दिस इज अ क्लास नेम और उसके बाजू में जो हम ये ओपनिंग क्लोजिंग राउंड ब्रैकेट दे रहे दैट मीन्स वी आर कॉलिंग द कंस्ट्रक्टर हुज नेम इज Now remember, whenever you call the constructor, there is a checking that happens. एक तरह की checking होती है. So this constructor will accept two arguments, but the call is made without any argument. So that will give us an error. Are you understanding? That's going to give us an error. No wrong. This is no wrong. You look. You look. Well, it is here. Missing two required arguments. Correct. A and B. How can you call a function without arguments if it is made to accept the argument, right? So let me write the first argument. What was the height of the cat we defined? 0.5. And what was the weight? 7. So let me say 0.5. And let me say 7. So we created object by passing these two values as height and weight to its constructor, right? Now. Constructor, as the name itself says, आप उसके नाम पर जाइए. It constructs memory for its object, right? Now, what will constructor do? See, 0.5 will be accepted by A, and this value in A, which is 0.5, will be assigned to height. Seven will be received by B in the constructor, and this value of seven in B will be assigned to its property weight all right my almost last important point please note it down please note it down constructors are used to assign values to the properties in class all right it is used to assign this is an assignment na no? check this to highlighted lines this is assignment so constructors are used to assign values To the properties of a class, hoping you understand. Right? So that this work we don't have to do. Check it out. ये काम हमको ना करना पड़े. You know, cat dot height, cat dot weight, dog dot height, dog dot weight, giraffe dot height, giraffe dot weight. So if there were ten different animals, ten different times we have to keep assigning the properties or what? Twenty lines of code. Am I right? So if there were hundred different animals, so if I'm 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 creating this program for an entire animal kingdom. तो देर आर थाउजेंड्स ऑफ स्पेशज ऑफ एनिमल्स आर यू अंडरस्टैंड थाउजेंड्स ऑफ स्पेशज ऑफ एनिमल थाउजेंड्स ऑफ देम आर हर्बी वर्स थाउजेंड्स ऑफ देम आर कार्निवर्स थाउजेंड्स ऑफ देम आर सम ऑफ अदर स्पेशज मे बी वी डोंट नो ऑल्सो तो हर एक का हाइट वेट हाइट वेट हम थोड़ी असाइन करते बैठेंगे और कर भी दिया सो वॉट वुड बी द लेंथ एंड अमाउंट ऑफ कोड एम आर राइट लेंथ ऑफ द प्रोग्राम सो बेटर दिस रिपीटिंग वर्क असाइन इट टू कंस्ट्रक्टर कंस्ट्रक्टर रिसीव द वैल्यूज और ये कंस्ट्रक्टर का काम का है Assign this incoming values to the properties of the class. All right. Please acknowledge in the chat box. This much understood. Except self. Self वाले part को छोड़के बाकी सब clear है. Please. It would be of great help to me. Or you want me to repeat it again? So cat dot height, cat dot weight, dog dot height, dog dot weight. So these values 0.5 and 7 as arguments will be received by the constructor. Since round bracket after after the class name is a call to constructor. 
कंस्ट्रक्टर को बुला हुआ है उसको कॉल है अच्छा नाउ वॉट इज रिमेनिंग इज सेल्फ इट्स लिटिल ट्रिकी टू अंडरस्टैंड इट टेक्स सम टाइम ऑल्सो बट इफ यू आर लिटिल टैलेंटेड इनफ यू विल गेट इट वेरी क्विक सेल्फ ऑलवेज पॉइंट एक्ट इट्स अ पॉइंटर यूर सो पॉइंटिंग मतलब किसी की तरफ इशारा करना से आई पॉइंट एट राज मीन्स आई एम गिविंग डायरेक्शन टू राज और आई एम डायरेक्टिंग टू राज हम उसकी तरफ इशारा करते हैं करें इन अ क्लास ऑफ हंड्रेड स्टूडेंट इफ आई से यू स्टैंड अप यू सो यू इज इट्स लाइक सम डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिव प्रोनाउन और सम काइंड ऑफ कॉमन नाउन और समथिंग लाइक दैट बट इट्स नॉट अ प्रॉपर नाम मैंने आपको आपके नाम से नहीं बोला है ना राज स्टैंड अप so when i say raj stand up even if i don't point at raj i understand he is only one raj but if i say you stand up so that pointing is required means who is you correct everyone will look at me otherwise so self is a pointer at the currently calling object i repeat self is a pointer to or it is a pointer at a currently calling object for example For example, right? Zero point five is whose height? Cat's height. So how did we write in the previous code? How did we write here? Cat dot height. Am I right? So who is the caller to height? Cat. The object cat is the caller of property height. Am I right? The object cat is the caller, or he is the user. आप कॉलर नहीं बोलना चाहते तो उसको यूजर बोलिए फिर कौन यूज कर रहा है इस वक्त हाइट और वेट को ऑब्जेक्ट कैट सो वी डोंट राइट जस्ट वेट एंड जस्ट हाइट हुज वेट एंड हुज हाइट ना एम आई लुक द वे वी हैव कोटेड इट कैट डॉट हाइट अदरवाइज डॉग आल्सो हैज हाइट अदरवाइज जीराफ विल आल्सो हैव अ हाइट सो बिफोर द प्रॉपर्टी वी ऑलवेज अटैच द ऑब्जेक्ट नेम सो सेल्फ ऑलवेज पॉइंट टू दैट करेंटली कॉलिंग ऑब्जेक्ट इस वक्त इस प्रॉपर्टी को किसने बुलाया right look at this line of code cat is an object of class animal with property or let me say height 0.5 and weight 7 so 0.5 will be assigned as property how cat dot height am i right so when this object will be created self inside the constructor will be replaced by cat it is pointing at the current caller na इस वक्त किसने कंस्ट्रक्टर को बुलाया कैट ने बुलाया तो सेल्फ किसकी तरफ पॉइंट करेगा कैट की तरफ ऑल राइट फाइन सो इन अदर लाइन ऑफ कोड टेल मी इन अदर लाइन ऑफ कोड इफ आई से डॉग इज इक्वल टू एनिमल व्हाट वाज डॉग हाइट एंड वेट 1.5 एंड आई थिंक 20 राइट 20 वी गिव सो दिस टाइम हु इज द कॉलर ऑफ द क्लास एनिमल डॉग सो दिस शुड बी डॉग डॉट हाइट डॉग डॉट वेट सो इनसाइड द कंस्ट्रक्टर self will be replaced by dog not self dot height but dog dot height dog dot height so self always point the current call try to understand okay if you search this concept of self on internet you will go mad this is how easy it is okay this is how easy it is self means it will point at a currently calling object come on. verify is this clear or not कंस्ट्रक्टर बोलेगा भाई मुझे इस वक्त किसने बुलाया सेल्फ उसकी तरफ इशारा करना है एंड इन द ब्लॉक ब्लॉक ऑफ कोड सेल्फ गेट्स रिप्लेस विद दैट कॉलर ऑन दैट ऑब्जेक्ट्स नेम ओके लास्ट टाइम प्लीज एक्नोलेज इन द चैट बॉक्स दैट वुड बी हेल्पफुल टू गो हेड फ्रॉम यू प्लीज इवन इफ यू हैव नॉट अंडरस्टूड दैट्स फाइन इवन इफ यू हैव नॉट अंडरस्टूड आई एम रेडी टू रिपीट दैट पार्ट अगेन फॉर यू Okay, fine. I'll I'll keep waiting for you in the chat box. Let me go ahead from here. I think there's a voice lagging happening or something. Fine. All right. So self always points at a current caller, and inside the constructor block, self gets replaced by the object. So if it is cat, who is create been getting created? Instead of self dot height, it will write cat dot. अंदर प्रोसेसिंग के टाइम पे वो सेल्फ रिप्लेस हो जाता है मेमोरी में बाय द नेम ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट अंडरस्टूड थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू सो मच ऑल राइट आई कैन सी मेनी पीपल हियर गाइस प्लीज एक्नॉलेज एवरीवन एल्स आल्सो एक्नॉलेज
okay i would like to remind you one last time for the session today you have to understand object oriented programming actually this is from where any programming language starts usse pehla hum jo bhi sikhte hain wo sab logic building hota hai for loop statement and all that is simple and that can be learned any time this is actually coding what we are doing now this is the modern approach of the developers outside first create a class then define the object hoping you are understanding yeah. hmm? say in a car racing game if it's a four player game i'll have to make four car 10 player game i have to build a 10 car are but car will have the property same height width am i right the color color is also property they would be different in color wo alag baat hai right so why to code this part again and again let all this common code goes inside the design all right fine okay so how how will we if if i run the program if i run the program i will think so there is some problem here okay let me get rid of this comment for some time okay there's no output of course there will be no output because we are not printing anything so how will do that print print say cat's height cat height or height of cat is cat dot height h e i g h t height and print cat's weight cat's weight that is cat dot weight you can't give a space here ha yeah yahan pe space nahi de sakte ho aap cat dot weight similarly similarly how can i print dog sat and dogs weight just say copy and just say paste so this is dog height and dog weight similarly dog dot height and dog dot weight correct let's check hmm. that means it has been correctly assigned this is what is constructor used for mug up by heart it by heart it constructor is used to initialize matlab assign that's a decent way of coding na constructor is used to initialize values to the properties of a class like 0.5 and 7 are the values of the property height and weight in class animal similarly 1.5 and 20 are the values of the property height and weight in class dog right so height weight are the same constant properties they will be differing only in the values as per different animals but one one problem is still not solved here guys ek problem abhi bhi solve nahi hai so if there were 100 animal 100 times i have to print it so this is something common am i right? so what we will do this time what we will do this time let's create one function hmm? let's create one function go back to my ppt what did i write here classes means designs are made up of properties that we made height and uh, weight there can be any number of property which makes maybe there is a third property called as a color okay so color is white or black or something that's another property maybe there's another property in the class called as a type say uh, cat is a carni uh, herbivorous carnivorous animal and maybe the giraffe is an herbivorous animal okay one is a domestic animal one is a wild animal something like that so ek bhi property ho sakti now what is the function let's create one function say display remember we have to always provide argument self inside the function first argument should always be self and what will be self for caller jo bulayega display uska ho jayega understood logic aise chalta hai mujhe jo bulayega main uska ho jaunga display says that hmm? what to do print print say the height is the height is self dot height and print the weight is the weight is the weight is self dot weight okay the height is so and so the weight is so and so so this is display now how can we write the code here instead of writing these two lines Why should we print? You see, ये ये अभी हम क्यों लिखे नीचे? 
ये काम ऑलरेडी ऊपर फंक्शन कर रहा है राइट सो वॉट टू डू रिमूव दिस टू लाइन्स एंड मेक दिस ऑब्जेक्ट कैट टू कॉल द फंक्शन डिस्प्ले Now what class has? Tell me that cat will inherit. Class has two property, and class has one function. Height and weight are the properties, and display is a function. Open your understanding. Right? So cat dot display. And similarly, here I will write dog dot display. Is that? Height is so and so. Wait. Of course, we can write print the names of the animals and all. Also, we'll do them one by one. But this is what is the meaning of function. I want to convey. Mm -hmm. Up till here, the concept is clear. Fine. Let us let us jot down. See, this is the class. You you have to try back at home this code. Okay. The simplest of the class that we created. Of course, we are here to solve many many more such programs. Okay. Fine. Come on. Let me put up. as a summary points on a summary card we started with what is object oriented programming what is object oriented programming google more about it search more about it search more beyond study beyond what we are learning understood and then what are class and objects in object oriented programming class is always a design Which is a one-time work. एक बार का effort है. Objects are multiple copies of those design, right? Which will have or inherit the same properties and methods. Of course, the values of those properties will be different, but objects will be from the same mold or from the same design. Like animal is a class, but uh, object of class animal is giraffe also. Object of class animal is a cat also. Or object maybe maybe it's a spider also. Are you understanding? Okay, so the properties of this class might differ in the values, but of course each animal will have the same property: height and weight, or maybe type, or maybe some color, right? And then classes have class always have number one. Uh, let me say property, and number two. What is it? Method, also called as a function. Then, what is the concept of constructor? Constructor. First point about constructor. It is created with the name in it. Okay. Number two, the first argument inside the constructor is always first argument. Is always self. Am I right? What is number three? Self points at the present or the current caller. Correct? It points at a present or a current caller. Right? The most important point that I am writing is the last point here. Constructors, constructors are used to initialize are used to initialize values to the properties of an object i hope i'm connected i'm sorry i got disconnected for a moment but i hope i'm here okay reconnection was successful fine 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 is that clear well first find what else we can say constructors are uske aage aur kya padha humne methods bhi okay then we learned how to create a function also all right functions are created using the keyword keyword d e f f hope you understand right now as a homework you can take this program as a homework fine as a practice question create a class vehicle with following properties properties okay say name of the vehicle hmm? say name of the vehicle uh let's say one is name another is say mileage m i l e a 
mileage okay what mileage it give and say the capacity okay say if it's a car maybe it's a four seater car maybe it could be a six seater car if it's a bus maybe it's a 40 seater bus okay so name mileage capacity hoping you understand there could be many more properties of a vehicle maybe i am not aware of you can add it okay and create three objects of it create three objects of the above class and display display the values of their properties so the first object is a bus name of the bus mileage and its capacity all right second object is for example auto rickshaw name vehicle if it's a vehicle right so name of the it is a rickshaw is a name mileage and capacity so it's a three seater vehicle all right something like that so try to code the simple class now in the next session that i meet you we will be advancing the step ahead hoping you are understanding clear fine okay guys now uh, let me tell you something more important here uh, we are going to start very soon with saturday sunday as well only for this saturday sunday which is upcoming tomorrow and day after it's a little dicey okay it's a little dicey so around the 4 pm around 4 pm tomorrow as well as day after if you find a class scheduled then only there will be a class otherwise i will meet you straight back on monday all right most probably most probably from the next saturday sunday we shall be regular throughout okay since uh, most probably again before the first week of april we want to wind off the mm, uh, boot camp because that would be time around many colleges for their final examination all right of course after that i am coming up with many more series like digital marketing to some of the groups i forwarded the messages as well digital marketing uh, ever heard of digital marketing anyone digital marketing people okay yes thank you okay yeah fine then we are also coming up with another course that is full stack web development using python again django html css javascript as a web developer hoping you understand so introducing you a lot of fields which are open outside hmm aapke samne hum sare options rakh denge aap seekh lijiye aapko fir dekhiye kya kis mein you are comfortable at maybe aap post the month of june i'll also go to cloud computing with something aws and all hope you understand us ke liye abhi sab time hai so saturday sundays will be the regular lectures except the coming saturday sunday where it is a little dicey if the lecture is there around 3 or 4 pm 3 or 4 pm both the days the session would be scheduled aadha ghanta pehle tak agar aapko schedule nahi dikhta hai matlab nahi hoga all right aadha ghanta pehle to nahi dikhta hai matlab nahi hoga please please go ahead please learn more about object oriented programming that would be too helpful for you also and for me also and as i always say if you have really benefited out of the teaching and one hour session please make sure that you like our video all right you would like this entire stream before you leave it that will keep us always motivated okay give us as much as like subscribe to it send the messages to your other friends especially for the people who are from non it background who wish to learn coding we are going to come up with coding for some small children also all right so in case if they are you are in touch with them some school going people uh, in your locality and all do spread a message going to launch courses for them in c c++ java python artificial intelligence robotics etc iot and all hmm? even you can join if you want to learn as a kid point of view aap chahe to kar sakte okay so please like please subscribe please share the content whatever you like and most importantly ye sabse bhi zyada important hai please keep practicing your ample of time okay that uh, monday session of file handling i will take one more time as i told you in the beginning since most of the people were missing uh, with me online hmm? goodbye take care happy weekend